Okay, as a disclaimer, I am not claiming that this works and it does the job to fix your catalytic converter. I use lacquer thinner here. I don't want you guys to try it. I took it at my own risk and I don't claim that uh, it's something that, uh, that, that works for sure. So it worked for me. I'm just uh, sharing my experience here. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna do a little review here. Uh, I was driving around and my my check engine light came on. So I went over to AutoZone and uh, they ran the test and everything and it turns out it's my catalytic converter. So with that being said, um, I saw some videos on YouTube uh, that might be able to save some money you don't have to buy the whole uh, catalytic converter and get it installed and all that. And uh, I saw one video where they were using a uh, lacquer thinner to, you know, to fix the problem, right? So uh, just to see um, where I'm at right now. Um, okay, so you see that? Service engine soon, yay. So you know my car's on. I'm gonna rev it up here. Man, oh man. Anyways, yeah. God, that is dirty. I need to clean my car. See? Anyways. Okay, so here's a little receipt from AutoZone. Not sure if you can see that. August 20th, uh, yeah, 2017. There it is. Troubleshooting. Yeah, PO420, yeah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Okay, so I'm gonna go over and get some uh, lacquer thinner and see what it does. Okay, so I bought the, the lacquer thinner there. This is my car, so you guys know I'm not uh, messing around here. I already have the funnel in place, and I'm gonna have this thing here that I bought over at Big Lots. Uh, I'm gonna tilt it that way so it could uh, capture me uh, putting the, the lacquer thinner in the gas tank. So, here it goes. Man, oh man. So, let me see if I could open this single-handed here without splattering it all over the place. You know what, let me put it in the ground here. Probably a better idea. Well, maybe I'm not gonna use the thing there. I'll just do this number. See if I could do it. Oh, that's not working. All right, let's try this again. Better work, man. I don't want to buy a new catalytic converter because it is pricey. This wasn't even that much, so hopefully this works, man. I'm telling you. Man, oh man. Okay, that's all of it, man. So, this is supposed to be uh, safe here because it's made out of petroleum stuff or so uh, yeah let's see how it goes okay so I'm gonna remove <laughs> this thing now came in handy buddy okay all right wish me with luck guys to be continued okay so from the video that I saw it says that you have to have it at have to put the, uh, excuse me, you have to put the, the lacquer thinner in there with at least a half a tank of gas, and I do have that. Check engine line is still on. Yep, so you know I'm in the car, the car is on. I'm gonna go ahead and change it. I don't know if you can see that. It's set to zero. 
so wish me luck guys all right so if you notice whenever I'm on idle there it's on park seems to idle not so great whatever when I put it into reverse that's when it starts to shake I noticed that there was a lot of carbon buildup in the muffler so hopefully this black or thinner uh, trick will work but I don't know so I'm gonna I'm gonna drive around for a while here uh, I think from the video it says to drive it all the way till it's almost done empty and then fill it up again with gas and uh, some people it uh, the service light engine the check engine light goes off some of them they have to disconnect the battery in the past I've had that go off or some kind of e-valve whatever and in the past I've used chem tool and that seemed to work and it turned it off by itself it didn't I didn't have to disconnect the battery but let's see how it goes man you know I'm not a rich guy I'm not a Rockefeller I, you know I made these videos to hopefully get paid for it and uh, help you guys in the same process here and I know that a lot of people are not born rich and uh, you know, it, it, it's hard to make a lot of money these days, you know, especially when you have a family, you know, I don't have a family, so I don't know what the odds and ends are for that kind of stuff, but, you know, I live alone, and hey, single people with no kids still struggle. I make enough money for myself. I do have uh, plenty of money left over. I could actually afford a brand new car, but having the car payment is just horrible. You don't want to go there. I want to enjoy life, you know, life is short, and I want to get to have enough time that I, I can do plenty of stuff without having to worry about a car payment or that. I want to travel, I want to do this, I want to do all sorts of stuff, but I'm driving around just to uh, see what happens here. The car seems to be driving fine, lacquer fender's not doing anything to my car that's exploding or whatever, so <laughs> wish me luck guys, I'll be back. All right guys, so my check engine light is now off. As you see, I have it on cruise control. And it did it at about 79 miles. I'm at 80 already. It cleared it out, guys. The lacquer thinner works, dude. It works. Oh boy, this is so awesome. Yay, woohoo! Okay, so I'm almost at empty. And I traveled 153 miles and no check engine just to prove that I'm uh, I, uh, that I'm turned on here See? okay so anyways it shut off at 79 miles which was awesome and I started recording around 80 uh, all right. Okay, so right before I gassed up, I checked the tailpipe from the exhaust and I noticed that it was all liquid black, I guess from all the carbon buildup and well, the light came off. So in conclusion to that, it worked for me. I hope it works for you. Uh, like, subscribe, and subscribe. Later.